Hello everyone, my name's Violent, and today we're going to be doing the Descent Easter Egg that is called Reunion. Now, what we got to do is complete Oz's challenges in Descent. So welcome to Grizz Zombies, and we're going to get into this, and it's going to be epic as hell. It's been a long journey, it's been about six days. Let's get started. Being, this weapon came home. You might wonder if the first step's actually in the first room when we first spawn. Well, it's not. You actually gotta open quite a few doors until you get to the title generator area, and that is the door that you need to unlock. There's these three red valves that need to be shot with any weapon, and the light turns green at the top, and that's how you know you're done. And this door will open that I'm about to walk through now and you can go to this computer. Memory testing records on subjects Lilith, Decker, Kong, and Oz are encrypted. Do you wish to override? Access denied. Don't quit your day job. Angie, see? This is why everyone hates me. This is gonna take some time. Oh my, what a quandary. I can't help, but you gotta help me first. I want all the facility's power routed to this room. If we're gonna reroute power, we have to turn off security from the outside. Turning off security from the outside can only be done one way. You need to open up the lounge and head to the air dock. When you push X on the door, it'll allow you to start decompressing and this is the process of allowing you to take a goliath into that room and basically you it's not going to be filled with water and it will fill with water so you can walk through it so i'm fast forwarding through this because it takes a while to actually activate the goliath suit suit and run up to it and get in it but you can sort of time your rounds by uh, getting the weapons that you need to do the easter egg and everything. You get the perks you need, be, have all these doors unlocked. And uh, if you're not to this point yet, just push X on that door, it'll open. And you can continue through here. But if you're not to this point yet with good weapons, then you might as well restart and continue on. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like from inside when I have the Goliath suit there's a zombie in the way and you just have to punch it in order for it to fly away but really what you're seeing is us turning off the security so you'll get an audio cue like this Power security offline. so from this point on in the game we're gonna be having challenges that are separated from Oz challenges to map challenges oh I'm preparing something special for the next round I hope you're ready for it so now we move on to our first Oz challenge, and it is a drone challenge, and I would recommend starting this at the beginning of the round. Just bob and weave zombies. I found a drone! Odds are your character is going to announce every time he sees a drone. Nice! But there is another that lurks about. Can you find it? Most of this compilation is basically edited from two player co-op experiences. Basically two sets of video. But, um... What I wanted to share is a trident weapon on the, we had a, in another round on this same step. And we're just going to town. It's fun, so use it if you can. We're about to come up now on our second drone, and we'll hear another audio cue. Hey. Notice that I'm using the blunderbuss right here. You do a considerable amount of damage when you shoot it up close, and uh, you can usually get it with a few more shots right after that, so. Whoa. This step really isn't that bad. It's one of the least of your worries. I mean, I would recommend having the blunderbuss for sure, or the Olm with the shotgun. You know, that's going to give you um, quite a bit of pelts right away. And this one here, we just went right up. So we're not wasting time. We go right through the teleporter, and we're back in the pocket. So now we're searching again. But if you're not careful, you can run all the way around this map, and it spawned actually right behind us. So we're going to run back through and uh, find the next drone and kill it, you know. That's what we got to do is defeat four drones here. So we found it. I found a drone. 
We killed it, and now we got one more drone to go. And guess what? We're gonna fast forward through this, and we're gonna find it right over here. I found a drone. I definitely say the biggest problem you run into on the drone challenge is it floating outside and away from you. And uh, I've experienced this a lot, countless times. Somehow I didn't do enough damage with the blunderbuss right there. But what you're gonna do is come up straight, and where the, wherever the door it came out of, it's gonna kill it. Game for you. Got them all. If you want to talk about the most time-consuming part of this Easter egg, let's talk about it right here. Charging the passenger with EMZs. This panel that you're seeing right here, it's not open before. Once we turned off the security, this panel is now open, you see? So ch step two actually worked better for step four. Now EMZ zombies or dogs, whatever they got the charge on them, you need to charge this passenger with their power. So you're going to jump up and knock out your exosuit. And that's how you're going to do it. And there's a meter on there, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. And you're going to keep doing this until it fills all the way up at 100%. And this takes a while. You see right now we're on round 12. And just like that, we're going to be on round, what, 17? Yeah, before we finish this sucker. So you'll get a cue like this when it's done. charged. So we were able to successfully divert the power to the title generator by turning off security in the outside. Now we'll move back to this after we get an Oz challenge out of the way. How about some good cardio? Lock and load. This next wave, you can only kill it with grenades. Juicy. From here on out, the Oz challenges get pretty straightforward. Right now what we're doing is just jumping, double XOing, and throwing grenades and killing everyone around us. And that's how we're going to do it until the round ends. And then uh, we didn't really get an audio cue in this ends, you know. Um, but we looked around the map because after an Oz challenge, you have a map challenge. And so when you look around the map, you're going to be able to find these platforms that are outside. So right outside at the spawn, you're going to notice these platforms. And I'm going to show you each one and how they're done correctly. Uh, I'll probably fast forward right through that part, yeah. So right here, you're just going to jump onto the middle platform and onto the other platform, the winning platform. I'll call it a winning platform. Okay, so we got the next one on deck. This one's hard. You have to exo uh, slide, jump before you hit the edge so you can get the double jump and then boost over. So that one's a really tricky. This one, all you do is hop around it. So you double jump, boost, and boost over. Okay, so that one's pretty simple. Then we're gonna move on to this sucker and what you're gonna do is when, you get, when you're ready to jump, just keep holding forward and let off before um, you fall off the edge. And that's how I do it. I just keep holding forward and that's how you just do the double jump with the right distance. Just be patient with this one. Get a zombie, one zombie at the end, and that's how you're going to get through it. So this one you just basically back up, jump, boost up, and thrust forward. Uh, this next one's the long one. It's just like uh, how we did it before. We're going to boost, exo, slide forward, jump off the edge, um, so we get that double jump and then land on it and we boost forward. So right here, it's pretty simple. Just keep pushing forward and double jumping in the correct spots. Uh, I wouldn't go do anything radical here because um, you're on very thin platforms. <laughs> so we nailed the winning platform and now we're moving on to the final one. And this is one of the most challenging ones because you have to back up, jump, boost forward. Back up, jump, boost forward. And then that, from here it's straightforward. You just jump up. I can't wait for the next round. It's gonna be a doozy. Move challenge! Oh, this next wave was inspired by Khan. You gotta pay to play, baby. Khan, you dirty devil. Now we got our money on that's at stake, so you can't really move. And uh, the way I do this is just hold down each side. I mean, we're doing a two-player co-op here, so one person's usually got one side, one person's got the other. And then you train when you get in trouble, all right? And you just move around, it's pretty easy. So let's get this audio cue of this finishing. Looks like you could use some more moolah. So with the move challenge out of the way, we got a Simon Says game, which is a map challenge that we got to do. And what I recommend you do for this step is have a notepad or some sort of paper and a pen. And what you're going to do for each one is you're going to label one, two, three, four at the top for the top row representing each computer. And each time it blinks, 
you're gonna write down a one under which whichever four computer it goes under. So right now we got one, two, three, right, and four. And uh, what you're gonna do is under two you're gonna write a one, under four you're gonna write a two, under two you're gonna write a three. And if you think about this the right way, it's a good way of keeping track. So you can look back at your notepad and continue on every time it's beeping and wants you to press the computer. So you're gonna do this in the order and uh, when you come across this the first time it's just gonna be a blinking a blinking or a pulsating light and you're gonna push X on it and then it's gonna start the puzzle. So we're finally getting to the last one here and uh, after we do that, no this is the last one and um, there's eight of them total so you're gonna need to be writing down eight lights and after we do this here we're gonna get an audio cue letting us know that it's time for an Oz challenge. Power diverted to title generator. Experimental weapon upgrade station online. We know you all got balls. We just need to see how big they are. Friendly fire. Ooh. Friendly fire safety mechanisms are offline. Friendly fire offline, what does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean anything in two-player co-op. I did this round in solo, and uh, what happened is I was being chased after by the other three main characters. They had that little uh, emblem above their head, and I they would shoot me. They were just like AIs or Sentinel soldiers. For two-player, just survive the round. Friendly fire safety mechanisms are online. We now have a map challenge that involves four different tasks, and those tasks need to match up with the top row of numbers that you're seeing. The bottom row changes according to what you're doing. So on the left it's exo slam kills, then we have player jumping, then we have wall purchases, and zombie kills. So I would highly recommend the first thing you do is to get your grenade purchases. Go ahead in the uh, spa, buy the grenades. That's how I would change that number. Match that up, then get your boost kills in. Match the boost kills, and then the rest is easy. If you're lucky, you'll be able to pull something like that off. But uh, if you're going to do it the normal way, get everything situated and start jumping. And then you'll get it. Power diverted to title generator. Oh, I'm preparing something special for the next round. I hope you're ready for it. Remember in the first step, Oz says, I want all the power reverted to this room. He's referring to the title generator area. So if you want to pass this part with the rockets, you're not going to be able to do it without reinforcements. <laughs> you don't technically need reinforcements, but hook up some sensory guns, get your score streaks, save up for this moment. Because if it's not dogs... I'm on a roll here. This time, it's rockets. Baby. Let them fly! I'll say it again, if it's not dogs, you're screwed if you don't have these score streaks hooked up. They're gonna save your ass during this because those EMZ zombies that take out your EXO and you can't do anything, they're gonna screw you over big time during this part. I have restarted so many times because I died here. Ugh. But yeah, you're gonna complete this part and uh, then we're gonna finally move on to the very last step. Power diversion complete. We have diverted the power from one side of the building to the other. Oz has con took in control of the teleporters. Um, do you think this Easter egg makes enough sense? I think it does. And don't worry right here, if you um, push X on it, nothing happens. It'll take you in. Here in my memories, Atlas Monitor and store them in this machine. It feels so real. Shut up. And watch, listen, remember. I love the way Oz tells Lilith to shut up. It's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna fight through a bunch of people here, and uh, until we get the next audio cue that rolls in. Do you think you're fooling? You all pretend we're the heroes. We're not. Shut up, Oz. You're delirious. You're an old toothless shark. That's why Atlas hung you out to dry. Fuck you! Decker, 
You never made the regular army because you couldn't pass a fucking drug test. What? Hey, you don't know shit about me. And Lilith, a two-bit hacker trying to go straight in IT. Don't make me laugh. How the fuck does he know about that? You know, Satan. I'm the worst of us. I'm the fucking monster in this story. It all begins and ends with me. You're a fucking janitor. I'm the reason we're all still alive. They want me, and they want you. You're one strand, one mutation away from becoming one of these things. You hear me? Someone shut him up! So Oz goes through some of the juicy secrets of our characters, and they, uh, they're they not happy about it at all. So now we're about to find out some even more juicier stuff from Oz. So here we go. Why haven't you changed like the others? That's the question. Ha ha ha! They think you're the cure! We're the cure, and you're the fucking disease, Oz. Exactly, you got it. You're not as dumb as you look, Decker. Supply and demand, baby. Supply and demand. I fucking hate those Atlas fucks. So that brings us to the end of the video, guys. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and learned something. Subscribe if you like zombies, man. I do a lot of this stuff. This has been the Reunion Easter Egg in Advanced Warfare. I'm Violent, and I'm out.